top of the ball, all the way to the shoot. Hit the bag, here we go, hit! Hold it in, good, right there, good, pop it up, hit! Good, good, come on, come on. Good, hey, I don't want it to change the pocket, leave it right where it is and just get the third hand on top. Hit! Keep going, keep going. Good, good, hit! Good, hit! That's it, hit! Come on, come on, pads down. Eyes up, good. Now pull away drill. Pull away drill. Here's what I want in the pull away drill. Watch. Here's what I want today. You're here? Watch. I want you to take and grab the back of the elbow. Try to pull it out. Try to pull it out and get the ball torqued. You got it? That's what happened. He got the elbow up. He got it torqued. You got it? Here we go. You grab the elbow, try to pull it out, get the ball out. Here we go. Pull the elbow up as you're going. To the number. Hit. Good. Right there. Good. 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 the best job in the world. You get to work in Notre Dame Stadium, you get to be part of the athletic department. Anything else you need to know? <laughs> it's a great place. Right along the edge. I'm the liner. We have guys who mow it, we have guys who irrigate it. I'm the liner. We're using game day paint today. We use a real bright white paint, so it looks good for uh, the millions of people that watch it on TV and the 80,000 that watch it in the stadium. I've been a Notre Dame fan since I was in kindergarten. Went to a Catholic elementary school, grew up uh, rooting for the Irish. I came out in 1988 to see the Miami Notre Dame game. We won 31-30. And uh, the whole way home, 10 hour drive, I just thought how great it would be to uh, live here. One morning I got a newspaper that said spring practice was starting April 10th. And uh, so I jumped in the car April 9th, came out here and went to spring practice and been here ever since. Ooh. Laser straight. <laughs> Laser straight, bright as bright can be. That's our goal at the end of the day, for the whole field to look just like that, nice and bright. Go Irish! <laughs> First job on campus was in the South Dining Hall, and uh, after that I got a job uh, a place called the Oak Room. It's no longer there, but uh, I was a short order cook. I tried and tried and tried. I've always wanted to work in the stadium, and an opening opening came up, and uh, I got hired, and uh, been here ever since. Haven't missed a game in 20 years. It's uh, pretty much what I had dreamed about doing. I was chasing a dream. <laughs> how much of this week is about cleaning up your team and how much of it is about stopping Michigan? It's all about us. It's all about how we play. You know, we're going to prepare the right way. We're going to do all the things necessary to prepare our football team. And then they've got to go play Saturday, and they've got to play the right way. Uh, I was really proud of our effort. I thought we showed no quit, even down 16 to nothing. There, there, there was a football team out there that kept competing right to the very end. We get an onside kick. Who knows what happens? Um, so I'm, I'm pleased about that, and, and that's a huge piece for me. We just have to clean those things up, you know. Um, you know, we're last in the country in turnovers, you know. We, we gave the ball up five times and didn't take it away. That's our focus, and playing cleaner is going to give us a chance to win. Each week is a new week. You wake up the next day, and you just got to work on doing the best you can with what you have. Um, we can't look back. We don't have time to look back. We don't have time for ifs, what ifs. Um, 
you know, the only way we can move is move forward and continue to improve. I can tell you have no doubt that this team's going to come out, play strong, and win on Saturday. Yeah, no easy. doubt. Because, you know, I know what we're capable of. I know what we can do. I know what we have done. You know, um, that game, that wasn't us at all. Everybody was doing things that they normally do not do. You know, uh, Theo catches every ball. TJ catches every ball. Eifert catches every ball. You know, we was just playing out. Playing. We were not playing like ourselves. You know, we, you know, um, we closed the book on that. That, that. that game is done with. Now it's on to Michigan. Uh, we are 100% focused on Michigan. And I know we're going to come out swinging come Saturday. I think everyone understands, you know, where we went wrong on Saturday. And, uh, you know, no one's blaming uh, people, you know, we're a team and we're sticking together. And, you know, everyone has, uh, you know, so much confidence in one another that, you know, no one's really hanging their head or doubting anyone. We just got to, you know, come out there Saturday and, you know, prove we can play better. Every game we're going to have adversity. It's, you know, how you get handled that adversity. And, uh, you know, it, we got off to the wrong foot at the beginning of the game. But, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, we're a resilient team. And I feel like, you know, we're never going to give up until until the clock hits zero. So, you know, I don't think there's ever going to be, uh, you know, oh, here we go again. It's, you know, we got to go out there and handle the uh, challenge that's in front of us. Higher, you maybe are up for a national championship. It's been five years since this program has been in the top five. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Uh, you know, it's hard to, to, to look at what happened in the past because I wasn't here. Um, but I can tell you what the present is. Uh, we're developing football players that are going to be able to compete with anybody in the country. Um, we've got to get over some, some things mentally and physically, uh, but we're getting there. We're going to be a good football team. By the time this is all done and we get a chance to get back together later in the year, we'll talk about maybe some of the times early on in the year, but uh, I'm very confident we'll have a good football team. What is success this year? You know, success is always about winning. You know, you don't go into college football and expect that success is, uh, you know, an average season. You know, we're, we're pinning our, our ears back for a BCS game. That's why you go here, because there's no conference championship. So you've got to go for a BCS. So success is a BCS for us. And the final question is, what's at stake on Saturday? It's a way for us to measure where we are after a disappointing loss and, and the way our kids bounce back, the way our kids go and compete. Um, it's an important game from that standpoint. Aaron, one last thing. Yeah. Um, and we touched upon it, but just revisiting it. Uh, coach's reaction after the interception. Uh, this is a good football team that has, as you know, uh, one of the most talented offensive players in the country. We got a chance to see him, unfortunately, firsthand last year. How talented he is. It's our job now to uh, obviously contain him. You know, we talked about B.J. Daniels and his ability. Uh, you don't stop those players. You, you definitely try to uh, contain their big play capabilities. Last year, Denard had too many big plays against our defense, so we'll be looking for uh, answers towards you know keeping him uh, in in that realm where where he doesn't take over the game. If you're getting push up front and collapsing the pocket, it's hard for him to go one two and run because there's no running lanes to run to. Now, if you're getting movement up the field with your outside rushers and he's able to step up and then find a running lane, that's where you have the problem. But if you have someone that can push the pocket from the inside and collapse the pocket inside, it really diminishes his options and the ability to, to break contain or to break down the defense because you're closing that pocket around him and essentially you got him in a cage and then you can, like I said, rally the troops and uh, get to the football and make, make, a, make a tackle. For the quarterback, last year he was in a spread. Now he's in a pro-style offense. Does that change the way you have to try to contain him at all? He's really in both. He's really in both. And so was their, so was their quarterback at San Diego State. I mean, they, they run three and four open formations, and they run uh, two and one open formations. So they're in, uh, they're in both identities. So it just adds more 
more challenge to the task. Well, you still just got to go out and uh, do your assignment, no matter you know what off, you know what offense he's in, because uh, you know. You gotta, you gotta know Denard. You know he can, he can, he can beat you with his feet. So you know if you're under center, you know you still gotta pass a little bit. So he, he still has that threat to run on every play. So you know you gotta be keyed in. He really torched us last year. Everyone knows that. So we're just gonna do our best to contain him and uh, do a better job. You know I'm sure he's gotten better and we've gotten better. And by the end of the day, hopefully we're the better team. How much better prepared for that do you think you are? Just because your reserves seem to be maybe more productive right now at that position? You know, I hope that's a little bit of it because obviously the, as, as the game goes, you're going to be moving in young guys and, and guys that don't have a lot of experience. But if I recall last year, it, you know, it was a couple of big play passes out of, you know, the option series that, that really affected us as well. So uh, it's a different scheme, Pete, and, and uh, the depth that we have will definitely contribute um, to, you know, our long-term success. Defensively, uh, you know, they're, they're a four down team uh, on first down, uh, second down, third down, they're going to get into their three down package. And, um, you know, Greg Madison does a great job with the scheme there. Martin, their defensive tackle, is very disruptive inside. Um, you know, they've got some experience back in the second day. I know Kovacs last year was, was all around the football. He's a guy who made plays. And defensively, they came up with two touchdowns last week. So, you know, if you look at our situation last week, uh, you know, certainly uh, we want to take the ball away defensively as well. They were able to take it away for two scores last week. Yeah, I have a lot of respect for Brady. I, you know, we've come up in similar uh, backgrounds. You know, he was at Grand Valley State and, you know, um, you know, obviously uh, head coach at Ball State, extremely successful. We got a chance to go each against each other when I was at Central. Um, you know, he moves to uh, – San Diego State, I go to Cincinnati. So, you know, we've had similar paths of success, and, and now, you know, we're in that dream matchup between Michigan and Notre Dame. Uh, but it won't be about Brady or I. Uh, it'll be about how we play.